Hello, it's Linda from Lanyos Handmade, and today we're going to do part three of the Gemma Bag Sew Along. We're going to sew up our back and our front, and our front has the magnetic snap in it, so I'll show you how to do magnetic snaps and a nice little pocket. And the two pieces later on with the gusset will match up nicely too, so that's going to be a really nice design feature on it. So don't forget to leave some comments and to uh, show me some pictures of how your Gemma bag's coming along because I'd really like to see them. Now these are the pieces that make up the front of your bag and uh, they're actually quite boring looking at them like this. But this is the front of your bag, how it's going to be sewn together. And this is the pocket that sits on the front of your bag. There, that looks a little bit better. And this is the lining for this. So every time I see this, I am always tempted to put it together the other way, like this, and make a nice straight line. But if you cut your pieces out right, this is how we're going to sew our pocket together. So for now, let's flip this over, line it up. some pins in it this band-aid actually makes it kind of awkward to do things and then we can sew it with a half inch seam allowance right right across there then I'm going to Press it and press it again. And you can top stitch along here if you like. I think I will with the black just to give it a real sharp edge so it doesn't get it loose or floppy anytime. In the meantime, if you want to snap before we finish completing this, we're going to put the snap on. Another thing we're going to do is sew these two pieces together. This is all so weird. Now, if you realize here, if you are sewing this at a half inch seam allowance and you turn it, it's not going to match. So what we have to do is match up the half inch line, not the where the seam is going to be sewn, not the actual edge of the fabric. And I kind of like drawing it in. This is where we're going to sew. <clears throat> and on this side, this is where we're going to sew. And this happens on every single angled one. What you're matching up is not the edges of the fabric, but that half inch line. So this and this should be pinned together and matching. And same on this side. matching on both sides now. Otherwise we're going to end up with wobbly edges on both sides. So when we end up sewing it, now you can see that it's going to be straight, especially after we press it. And then I'm going to top stitch this down too. Depends on where my magnetic snap falls as to whether I want this up or facing down, you know, pressed down or pressed open. I'm going to just sew it together first and see how it lines up for my magnetic snap. So this is going to work out just fine. So let's sew these two seams and decide where we're going to stick this top stitching and the snaps. 
So now we've got our first seam sewn on our pocket and lining and our front of our bag. Now we have to fit, I'll measure it later and show you, but for now, in the center here, we have to fit a magnetic snap and it has to correspond with the magnetic snap on here. So I'm going to cut down and zigzag again this seam allowance to about half so I can move the magnetic snap up a bit. So since I'm cutting down this seam allowance and zigzagging it again, it'll give me a bit more room here to use to fit this magnetic snap in between these two pieces. So there's our front without the magnetic strap. We haven't got that in yet. And uh, I did cut this seam down a little bit and I top stitched. This seam is facing down on the inside and I've top stitched it because like I say, I want to have some space. You can feel a space in there, but the size of my finger to put a magnetic snap in without hitting this or the seam allowance I can feel underneath. So now let's measure where this snap is gonna go. We have to find the center of our lining and we have to mark it. And then after you can check it too to make sure it's in the center. So this is where we're going to put our magnetic stamp. These little things are really handy for uh, drawing where we want the snap to go. And as you can see, this is where the prongs are gonna go. And this center hole, we don't really need that, but I like to make it pretty. So, so that's gonna get poked through here. We're not gonna poke it through this pretty side. We're gonna poke it through our lining side. That's when the time comes. Now on this side, let's just find where our center mark is. And it's going to be in the black, good fabric on top. I'm just gonna draw a little line on the edge here so I can see if it's in the center. I'm going to put this down and draw it in. Put one on top of the other and see if they do line up actually. I'm going to get some pins and poke them through on the line. I must test out if these are lined up with each other a hundred times before I finally put the snaps in. See if those lines match up with each other. Will these snaps fit together? Yep. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay. Of course, we stick one in and then we try lining it up again. I'm going to do this one first because it's the fussiest one. I always like to get the fussy ones over with because this one's very close to the edge. Going to get some Peltex and some Shape Flex to help out. So I've got my Peltex, my Shape Flex. Um, some people use duct tape. That's no problem. Um, I've got my measurements here. Now I have to poke them through and this is the point where everybody always freaks out. 
I know I do. But I would recommend you put something across here so that you can only go so far. Like that's it. So no matter how much I poke in here, I'm not gonna go any farther than that. I can also do this with this piece of equipment here, this little seam ripper, um, making those holes always make me, me nervous, <clears throat> but it has to be done. So now we have holes and hopefully they're in the right place. So there's a thick one and a thin one somewhere here. I'm going to put the thick one on here. This is part of the bag and the thin one is just gonna go on the flap. And I poked a couple of holes in some Peltex because I like to put some reinforcement in. Oh, that went in pretty easy. I like to make this kind of reinforced. Okay. Now the only thing left we need is the uh, washer and we can push down the prongs. Sometimes I get a little hammer that I've got for bag making and I give it a good tap with a hammer too. Now this is the, yeah, I'm going to give that a tap with a hammer because it's still sticking up. Um, sometimes people put duct tape over top of this. Um, I usually just iron on some shape flex because I don't have any duct tape with me, but that's our one snap done. And the procedure is the same for this one too. I put the pins this way because I don't want to have my cutting run off on me. And then I get my little ripper and I poke it in. And I, I'm going to try and poke it out the other side. And same here, poke it in and poke it out the other side. Don't need those pins there now they're just in the way so I've got two holes and notice the two holes are not in our outer fabric they're just in our lining fabric so I'm going to get the small thin little snap and I'm going to poke it through the holes and again I'm going to get my Peltex of course this is a slanted seam so I have to make the marks slanted. I think it's on there. Let's get the washer on there. Let's poke these in. get the hammer and I'm going to pop a nice good blow on there and then cover it up with my shape flex again and then it'll be finished and then we can match the two sides together there now it's done our snap is put on there's always this moment of truth like what the heck did I do it right keep in mind don't freak out too much don't worry about it I just line up the corners and I do my half inch seam allowance anyway so it's going to catch any little shifting or errors you might have half inch seam allowance is lovely for that but first we're going to just zigzag down here so later when we sew the bag together we don't have any problem with this flipping around all over the place so right now zigzag down and across and up and then we will start on the back of our bag there now, now we've got our final side to put together. Now, because this is slanted, some people wonder, how do you put it together? Well, you don't line it up like this because this is supposed to match the stitching line on the other side. So let's line those up. I 
like putting a little pin in and matching it on the other side with a pin too and getting the edge. To match right the place it's supposed to match is right there in order to get it straight same with the other side this is where their stitching line is and this is where a stitching line is and the two stitching lines are supposed to match up So it doesn't matter if it looks like it's crooked because in the end, when it's done, it will come out straight. So I'm going to pin the rest of this and then sew it and top stitch it. And with my top stitching, I'm going to match it just like the other side, the front. I sewed a black line on here. And then we'll have our outer layers finished. There, I pressed this so well, I think I melted it together. <laughs> this is my edge stitch foot, or my stitch in the ditch foot. I'm going to top stitch with this one. It's got the little um, center guide on it. I'll have to remember to put my sewing needle to the left though, so I can hit this hole. So I'm gonna top stitch down this, and uh, then the back's finished. So I thought I'd show you how this foot works. You see, it's in the center here now. I don't want it in the center. I want my needle over to the left so it falls in this hole. And this guide works really well to sit on the edge here. So I'm gonna hold my threads and I'm gonna slowly come down first. I might even go forward and back stitch. And then if I carefully follow that guide all the way, I'll get nice straight top stitching. A little bit of back stitching again, and then we're done. So that really helps with the um, top stitching. Our back is done. Well, I guess I have to go make dinner. Somebody's gotta eat. Um, here's our pocket done. A magnetic snap on our front, and here's the back. And it probably always floors you like it floors me. Why is one one way and the other the other way, but when we stick the gusset in, everything will meet up nice. If I can pick them up here. Thanks for watching part three of the Gemma Bag Sew Along. I'll get part four to you much sooner than last time, as my videos have been recovered now since my laptop crashed. Lots of fun. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. See you next time.